Welcome to lesson two. In lesson two, we're going to create your about page. And this, if you look at my analytics, it's really weird. I've, over the course of the past decade, my about page on all of my websites get almost no traffic. But yes, you do have to have an about page. So we're going to create one. Well, maybe if it's a personal brand and you're creating something with your name behind it and your face and you're using your own personal likeness, your about page might be a page that gets more traffic. But I think because like mine's a brand, like I, I, it's true. Like if you think about it, you don't go, I don't, I've never read like Apple's about page or Nike's about page or Target or Walmart or Amazon. Like I've never gone to the about page on their website. So I guess it depends on how you're branding your business. To me, I've always kept myself out of it as much as possible. So maybe that has something to do with it. But I can tell you, because I, I think because I don't brand myself into the business, these aren't personal brands, that most people don't look at the About page because there's so much more better information on other pages of the website. If you're looking for reviews and testimonials and those things, they're not on my About page. All right, so let's dive into this one. The first thing you're going to do is download the template. And this one you can do both ways. You can make this one a website page if you don't plan on changing your about page very often. So I'm just going to download it and show you what to do. So you're going to you know, type in about page, hit save. Then we're going to hop into Kajabi. Then we're going to upload a new template. And we're going to upload this either way just so you can use it to copy and paste stuff onto the other one if you want to. All right, now before we reproduce this page in your own way, let's go ahead and look at some of the about pages on some of the other sites. So we have a simple one here on iTeachly. It's pretty much just straight text, right? And then I have links to different things inside my website to get them to sign up for my email list or join the membership to purchase a curriculum. So really the about page can be that simple. Now you can also make it super flashy. Like if you go to some other teacher creator, like if you went to Anna DeGilio's page, because she is part of that brand, her about page is gonna look totally different than mine, which I am not a part of that brand. So my about pages are about the company more so than like my teaching career and how the curriculum was created and why I did it and all that stuff. So. Again, you got to decide what was going to work best for your business. I wouldn't spend too much time on it. Again, my advice is to make it a brand. I wouldn't brand yourself into the business because if you ever want to sell that business, it's going to make it worth less and a bigger headache to sell it because you're a big part of it. You're the face of the business. But that again, that's totally up to you. If you're going to keep it forever and pass it on to your kids and your grandkids and whatever, and you plan on growing this thing as big as possible and keeping it forever, then it doesn't matter. So let's head back into Kajabi. You're just gonna wanna take, so this, this page is already done. We need to change out our logo or whatever, but before I do that, if you look, we have all of these sections where basically it's just trying to get people to sign up for something on my website. So I'm trying to get them to try my materials before they become a member. So I'm getting them into a funnel so that I can guide them into my membership that they don't know that they need yet. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I don't need my about page to have a different header and a footer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy, I'm gonna go up here, hit back, hit back, hit back. Then I'm gonna go to the website pages. I'm gonna go to the about page. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, and I didn't include this in this overall theme because this is something that's personal and it's gonna be different for every single person's website. Like your about page is not gonna look like my about page. It might have the same format kind of, but you're gonna put different information in there because we all have different stories to tell, right? So what you're gonna wanna do is right click on this and open it in a new tab. So you got two open, go back to the original one, click on landing page, and we're just gonna copy and paste these sections over because again, now if you want this to be different and have different menu bars, headers and footers than the rest of your pages, then go ahead and just edit your logo and change everything to make it match what you did on your homepage. But I don't want that. I want this to look exactly like all the rest of the pages on my website. So basically all I'm going to do 
is I'm going to copy the information and this is going to help with you learning how to use Kajabi better too because we're going to create this from scratch. So the first thing that we're going to do, you notice we're under the sections part here on this new about page that's just a regular web page. We're going to hit add section and then I want to add just a text section. I'm going to click on this text section. I'm going to paste in my information like this. I'm going to go back over to this one and I can see I have a second text section with a link in it to access something. So want to learn more about my membership, you can click here or you can click on the button. You can remove this. I don't need this text right here. I'm just going to use the button, right? So I'm not going to copy that over. I'm just going to copy the header text or the question and then I'm going to add a button. And I, you're gonna, we'll set that button to go wherever we want it to go later on. We're not gonna do that right now because we haven't created all our other pages yet. Okay, so inside that section, we're gonna add another text box. We're gonna paste in the text. We're gonna make it the same width, so they're both 10 is what I like to have it. I don't wanna do these all the way to 12 because I like to have a little bit of space on the side of text. Okay, now here's where we're gonna do Something new, I believe. I, we might have renamed one of these. I don't know. We're going to rename this. So this is the... Actually, let's name these by what the text is. In our case... YouCanMath.com uh, The second one, we are going to name it want to learn more and that way we keep track of this stuff right and then in this box so click on this box and then we want to add a call to action which we have not done before hit include call to action we are going to make this say learn more right because want to learn more about the membership yes i do learn more now this one we're going to link this to uh one of the pages on our website so if you look in side of I Teachly. I have that link to join the membership. So basically this right here links to become a member. So it links to my sale page. And again, we haven't created that yet. So we're not gonna do that now. Just leave it blank for right now. Open it new tab. We don't want to do that right now. We want to leave the background colors of everything and we'll go back and change the home page buttons to green because that's what we're using the rest of them we want it to be auto we don't want that button to be massive that looks kind of weird the button we want to be the same as the rest of them and i believe that was 10. so we need to go back and change that on the home page too so just make sure i i just want to keep everything consistent while i'm styling this out if your home page is completely different then roll with it uh we want the button size to be large solid the radius can stay the way it is. Everything else should be the same. Okay, let's hop into the next one here. Okay, this one we have, click here to join the blank email list, click here to join the blank email list. So if you have multiple things within Kajabi, we can make it so it signs up for the right email list. And I'll show you how to do that when we create our forms. But for right now, just copy this top part. We're not gonna use those links because we're gonna make this button actually bring up both those links. And I'll show you how to do that later. Head back over to the other one. We want to add a new, it's not working, there we go. Add a new text section. Highlight all of it. Paste it. Make it a 10. Add a call to action. This one we want to say, uh, sign up, register. I don't know what I put in this one. Uh, click here to join the email list. Instead of doing that, let's put sign up for the freebies. Get freebie activities. Sounds good to me. And again, we're going to make this uh, do something special later on. Everything else stays the same because it looks good other than we want it to be auto. Save it. Next one.
this one's going to link to the contact page on your website, which we will be creating here soon. Text. Copy and paste. Okay, we want it to be 10. We want the call to action to be contact us. And this one will select the actual page, which will be the contact us page when we create it, right? Auto include, save. Okay, and this will be the last one. And then you'll have a very basic about page, which is good enough for now. And then you can come back in and edit it later, make any additions that you want. Um, I'm going to rename all these sections later. I'm not going to do that on the video because that's just a waste of time. I already showed you how to do it. It'll just make the video longer. Okay, so this link we want to be to join our membership. So you'll have a link for that once we make our sales page. Leave it for now. Uh, we might want to make that green though just because it matches all the other uh, links. Okay, and then we said, this one says become a member. So that's what we're going to type in. Include. It'll go, we'll link it to the sales page later on. Auto. And save. Okay, and you notice, then we have an about page. After you save it, let's preview it. So this little button right here. Looks good to me. And if you want to change the background or anything like that, you can do that the same way we did it on the last one. We're going to talk about pop-ups later. Those keep popping up. We haven't just, we'll, we'll, that's a whole other lesson. If we're going to go with the theme of having this colorful background, and not colorful, but this like gray geometrical background on the back, I would put it on all your pages, all your pages that you're using that are your, have this plain text on them. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and do it just so we can go through it again. You're going to hit click on the background. So I'm going to upload that image. Change the background type to image. Hit save. And you can make it fixed if you want. I think we decided that it looked better when it was fixed. Either one but put it however you want. Use whatever image you want or use none, use a color. Okay, so that's it. There's your about page. And there we have it. Looks good, right? All right, let's head on to the next lesson. Keep this thing rolling.